Hello, welcome to our channel prepeasy.com. Today, in the general knowledge section, we will discuss about presidents of India. Hopefully, this will help you to answer a lot of multiple choice questions in various exams like UPSC. So, let's get started. So, first president of India was Rajendra Prasad. He was the first president of independent India. And he served a term of 12 years and 107 days. He was elected in 1950, 1952, and 1957. He was the only president to complete two full terms. And he was the longest serving president of India. He was the candidate of Indian National Congress. Second president of India was S. Radhakrishnan. He was elected in 1962. He served a term of five years between 1962 and 1967. He was the first vice president of India and he was the first president from South India. He was the first president to have received Bharat Ratna before becoming president of India. His birthday is celebrated as Teacher's Day on 5th of September. He was an independent candidate, which means he had no affiliation to political party. Third president was Zakir Hussain. He was elected in 1967. He served a term of one year and 355 days. He was the first Muslim president of India. He was the first president to have died in office and because of that, he was the shortest serving president of India. He was also an independent candidate, which means he had no affiliation to any political party. Next president was V. V. Giri. He was an appointed President of India because Zakir Hussain died in office. He was appointed in 1969. He served a term of 78 days. He was elected as Vice President of India in 1967 and was appointed as an acting president after Zakir Hussain's death. He resigned to take part in the so next president was Muhammad Hidayatullah. He was appointed after President V.V. Giri resigned to take part in the presidential elections. He was appointed in 1969. He served a term of 35 days. He was the only president to have served as Chief Justice of India. He was also a recipient of Order of British Empire. He served as an acting president until the next presidential elections. So the next president of India was again V. V. Giri. He was elected in 1969. He served a term of five years from 1969 to 1974. He was the first president to have served both as vice president and acting president of India. He was an independent candidate, which means he had no affiliation to any political party. The next president of India was Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed. He was elected in 1974. He served a term of two years and 171 days. He was the second president to have died in office the first president, if you remember, who died in office was Zakir Hussain. He was a candidate of Indian National Congress. Next president was B.D. Jatti. He was an appointed president and he was appointed in 1977. He served a term of 164 days. He was the vice president of India during 
Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed's term of office. He earlier served as the Chief Minister of Mysore State. He served as the acting president until the next president. Next president was N. Sanjeeva Reddy. He was elected in 1977. He served a term of five years from 1977 to 1982. He was the only president who also served as a Lok Sabha speaker. He also served as the first Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. He was the youngest President of India at the age of 64 and the only candidate who was elected unopposed. He was the candidate of Janta Party. So the next President was Gyani Zail Singh. He was elected in 1982. He served a term of five years from 1982 to 1987. He was the first Sikh president of India and he also served as the chief minister of Punjab. During his tenure, the anti Sikh riots and assassination of PM Indira Gandhi took place. He was the candidate of Indian National Congress. So the next president was R. Venkataraman. He was elected in 1987. He served a term of five years from 1987 to 1992. He also served as a finance minister and minister of defense before. He was also a candidate of Indian National Congress. Next president was Shankar Dayal Sharma. He was elected in 1992. He served a term of five years from 1992 to 1997. He also served as the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. He also served as the governor of Andhra Pradesh, Punjab and Maharashtra. So if a question comes, who was the president of India as well as governor of three states before, you know, the answer is Shankar Dayal Sharma. He was also the candidate of Indian National Congress. Next president was K. R. Narayanan. He was elected in 1997. He served a term of five years from 1997 to 2002. He was the first Dalit president of India. He was an independent candidate which means he was any political party. So the next president was APJ Abdul Kalam. He was elected in year 2002. He served a term of five years from 2002 to 2007. He was also popularly known as People's President. He played an important role in the development of India's nuclear weapon program. He was the only president who was a scientist. So this question can come in your exams as, an, as a multiple choice question. He was an independent candidate. So the next president of India was Pratibha Patil. She was elected in the year 2007 and she completed the term of five years from 2007 to 2012. She was the first woman president of India and she was also the first female governor of Rajasthan. She was the candidate of National Congress. So the next president of India was Pranab Mukherjee. He was elected in 2012 and completed a term of five years from 2012 to 2017. He also served as the finance minister, foreign minister and defense minister before. 
he was also the candidate of Indian National Congress. So friends, you know him. He is the current president of India, Ramnath Kovind. He was elected in the year 2017. He is the second Dalit president of India. And you remember who was the first Dalit president of India? First Dalit president of India was K.R. Narayanan. Ramnath Kovin also served as the governor of Bihar. He is the candidate of Bharatiya Janta Party. So friends, we covered 17 presidents of India. Out of the 17 presidents of India, 14 presidents were elected and 3 presidents were appointed. On this slide, you can see the elected presidents of India, starting from Dr. Rajendra Prasad, who was the first president of India. Second president was S. Radhakrishnan. And third president was Dr. Zakir Hussain. Just remember, Dr. Zakir Hussain was the first president who died in office. So after him, there were two interim or appointed presidents. The first one was Bibi Giri and the second one was Muhammad Hidayatullah. Then the fourth president who was elected was Bibi Giri. After him, the fifth president of India was Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed. And remember, he was the second president who died in office. So after him, B.D. Jatti became the interim or appointed president of India. And friends, just remember, sixth president onward, all the presidents completed their full five-year term. So friends, we covered all the possible questions you can get in your exams on the topic Presidents of India. For example, the terms, the sequence of presidents, their political affiliations, and which president was also the chief minister of certain states, and which president was also the governor of certain states. Now, we will cover four important questions that can come in your exams. The first one is, who were the three interim or appointed presidents of India apart from 14 full-time presidents? They were Vivi Giri, Mohammad Hidayatullah, and B.D. Jatti. Only four presidents who received Bharat Ratna were S. Radhakrishnan in 1954, Rajendra Prasad in 1962, Zakir Hussain in 1963 and APJ Abdul Kalam in 1997. Only two presidents died while in office. They were Zakir Hussain and Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed. Out of the 14 elected presidents, nine belonged to political parties, seven from Indian National Congress, one from Janta Party and one from Bharatiya Janta Party. The remaining five were independent. So if you find this video helpful in your studies, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Good luck.